Welcome back. It's time for your money where we take a look at how you can make money. But, and today you're focusing on photography and how to turn your passion into pennies, as I was saying, or rather profits, as Michael would prefer. But we, as you can see, the set is all prepared. And with me today is the photography extraordinaire, um, Malcolm Silla, who is renowned, one of Kenya's top photography. Who is going to tell us how to do that. And I don't want to waste any more time. Introduce yourself. Yes. What do you do, Malcolm? Yes, yes. And what, your, what, what is your photography? photography all about yeah thank you so much mm -hmm. um, well I am Malcolm David Taylor yeah. uh, my photography is basically um, centered around making it glorious this yeah. is what I do uh -huh. my main mission yeah is to document precious moments uh -huh. to archive the time and to make sure that you know people remember themselves okay. how they look like mm -hmm. 50 years from now all right yeah. now that's the name glorious photography yeah glorious photography is, that's that's the, that's your company yes, so how yes. long have you been doing this and take us back to your inspiration to start this well um i've been doing this for the last uh, professionally for the last 10 years yes um meaning that that's what i do every day mm -hmm. i wake up every morning i yeah. wake up every night uh, i sleep photography <laughs> i dream photography yeah and um it began as a passion about oh. when i was 10 years 10 yeah wow yeah. so how does a 10 year old get into <laughs> photography is it that your dad had equipment or did you visit a, a studio and see how it worked and you were amazed by it because how did you come to that mind frame of this is the thing i want to do well, um, a neighbor. Yeah. We used to live in a place where we had a lot of neighbors. Uh -huh. So my neighbor was, uh, his name is Francis. I hope I, he's watching. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hi, Francis. Uh, hi, Francis. Yeah. I, I hope he's, he's watching mm. and he gets to know this. Mm. So fr uh, Francis was one of my neighbors and uh, he had a camera, film camera, similar uh -huh. to what I'm holding here. Oh, the so, ones with the, with the reel? Yeah. Ah, yeah. cool. So you see, like, putting... Yeah, in here. I remember those. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> so you had to take the reel to the studio. Yeah, so he gave me be. the camera and he said, go and finish the film. Oh. There were about, about 10 exposures or left. Nice. Uh, so left. Mm -hmm. So when he gave me the camera, I went out and started telling my sister, stand like this, yeah. do like this. You're positioning them. Uh, yeah, a mm -hmm. big shout out to them. They were my first models. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, when I began to take pictures, when you went mm -hmm. to the studio and mm -hmm. cleaned it up. Yes. Uh, wow. He was impressed? He was impressed. Ah. And uh, just looking back, between that time and when I finally made the jump to do professional photography, I've always been comfortable behind mm -hmm. lenses mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and also behind, uh, in front of lenses and yeah. also behind Be the lenses. Behind. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that yeah. was cool. So yeah. when you, you, where do you go from there to now um, Malcolm, the photographer, because I imagine it would have been a journey yes. between that day yes. and then getting to practice more and more. And I've been wondering, is this something you're born with, an eye yeah. for photography, or yeah. is this something that you actually can develop if you just love what you see on, on people's work? Well, you see, photography is an art and a science mm -hmm. at the same time. Photography is uh, what you see, basically what you can be able to see with your eyes. The biggest mm. camera I tell people is your mind and your eyes. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. the biggest camera that you have. Yes. And um, uh, well, how I transisted from there, I was doing something totally different mm -hmm. for about 15 years. Mm -hmm. uh, but all the time I had a camera. It was, uh, it was all your the companion. time. If I, I look, I have a borrowed camera yes. here. I have, but when I got my first born, mm -hmm. that's when I think photography now hit. That Netflix. was about 2007. Yeah. Uh, that's when like, it, it really hit me. Mm -hmm. and, uh, was it a, a need to capture your own personal moments or were you actually exploring anything outside? Because uh, when you look at your work, it yeah. has to do with any, everything, yeah. waterfalls and yeah. weddings yeah. and all that yeah. you have. Yeah. So what were you keen on capturing? Well, um, around that time, I had a small camera. I used yes. to work in industrial area. Yeah in a pharmaceutical company. And um, every time I went, I used to wait, you know, in the evening when you're coming back home, mm -hmm. there's a sunset yeah. and there was oh, too cool. much traffic. So I decided, let me be walking. Mm -hmm. So when I walk, I, I took photographs of literally everything, <laughs> guys on push carts, yeah. um, to those cows that invade our city, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. uh, all those things. Mm -hmm. Just clicking, going along, taking yeah. pictures, mm -hmm. just sh keep shooting, keep shooting. They usually say yeah. that you're, you know, like your first 10,000 pictures are your worst. Oh, yeah. But I think those were my best. Were your best, yeah. uh, perhaps because yeah. you weren't putting much thought into it. It was just inspiration yes. stri striking. Yes. Yes. Now, yes. I, I'd imagine 
buying that first camera was no easy fit, was it? I, it was <laughs> Actually, yeah. it was borrowed. I, I, uh, I didn't have a camera mm -hmm. for a long time. Yeah, and yeah. equipment when it comes to photography is very critical. It yes. has to be good it, because it will reflect on what comes out. But a lot of people nowadays might not be able, yes. might not be in, in position to start. And you find people having their cell phones let's yes. say so i would imagine you would advise to start small but of course you know how it goes so how would you advise somebody before they get to the level of having this kind of equipment which i'd imagine is expensive yes how would they start well how they'll start is just start where you are mm -hmm. just start with the camera you have whatever it is even if it's a two megapixel camera <laughs> just start taking pictures just yeah. start constructing them mm -hmm. start taking the photos start yeah photo just start clicking okay um, then from that you look at the genre which you want to go into because the equipment is quite uh, um, you know it's it's relative in terms of its cost yes. it's very very super expensive mm -hmm. and there's you know just like any weapon you mm -hmm. have there's you know missiles High end, yeah. and also there's <laughs> a pen knife which will also get the job done yeah. <laughs> wow. there's, Dan, there's this guy, what's his name, uh, David, in the good book. Mm -hmm. He had a sling and, a a, sling, and, yeah. a, and my, my friend Kanini used to joke because mm -hmm. I used to have a small camera. Yeah. And I did, did weddings with this small camera. Wow. Very small camera, mm -hmm. 14 megapixel. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I used to have a small stand on it. <laughs> so I put a stand on it, then, you know, I'm convincing myself but I'm the professional. The guy for the job, yeah. <laughs> so I show up with it and yeah. I make great pictures. Yeah, so I guess um, also self confidence and just yeah. knowing you can do it, yeah, yeah, yeah. it, it plays a big role. So I'm imagining um, uh, what you have all this self taught education. Yes. But nowadays you have the internet yes. and all that, yes. You, you, yes. a lot of resources that you can use to learn. How do you advise young people or people looking to get into the past? to take advantage of what uh, resources there are and for, as far yeah. as information is concerned. How should they approach gaining knowledge? True, true, mm -hmm. true. Well, today mm -hmm. in this world, we, uh, we have a lot of digitally illiterate people. Uh -huh. In as much as we have a lot of technology with us, yes. there are people who are illiterate. Mm -hmm. You'll find someone asking you, how does it work? Uh, Yet we have thousands of tutorials you know? yeah. that you can be able free to... Free of charge. Yeah, free of charge mm. that you can be able to get online and just have a look at them. Mm -hmm. um, I would say much of what I have done is more of it was self-taught. Self-taught? Uh, Trial and error? Yeah, not really error. Mm -hmm. It's <laughs> just shoot it right. Yes. Oh, yes, wow. in, I believe in shooting it right, okay. just in the camera, mm -hmm. not shoot, then fix it. Uh -huh, no shoot, shoot it, after. Uh, shoot it right, yeah. um, right there where you have it. And um, like there's this story, mm -hmm. um, you know, in 2012, I was given a brief, a very tough brief, okay, uh, by a real estate company. They said they want to take pictures of their estate, right? And they only had one vantage place. Some, on top of some tanks where they used to tell every photographer, mm -hmm. go there. Yeah. So I said to myself, I need to do something. There were no drones mm -hmm. at that time. <laughs> and I thought, I need to be, a, I need to be airborne. Yes. I just need to be <laughs> up there. <laughs> so I went, I went to look for a helicopter. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they told me the cost and I was yeah, like, like oh, wow. Yeah. I can't even put this in my brief. So mm -hmm. I looked around and um, an idea came. Mm -hmm. And I approached one of the uh, one of the firefighting companies, ah. and went and I told them I need one of the largest cranes you have. Mm -hmm. They said, "What for? What mm -hmm. do you need a crane? Where is this place?" I yeah. said, "It's all the way in Machakos. That's uh -huh. where I want us to go." Yeah. So, uh, you know, so you, I paid you... half of what I was paid oh to the crane. Oh my goodness! Yeah, just to achieve that shot. Uh, yeah. Wow! And how did it turn out? Oh man! Up to today, yes, they still use it. Wow, yeah, because yeah, you use what you, it boils down to what you are saying, you yeah. use what you have. Yes. Now, let's get to the money-making business, because yes. at the end of the day, a lot of us are trying to, we are passionate, but it won't make any sense if yes. you're not making cash out of it. Yes, so yes. tell us more about how you can transition from the love of photography into making profits for yourself. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, passion is an emotion, uh -huh. and you have to turn it into an action. Yeah. So you can be very passionate about photography, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but if you're not passionate, if you're not act, putting that passion into action, yes. nothing's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Photography, like any other business, mm -hmm. needs all those principles of business. Yeah. And particularly uh, when it comes to even just that first client you get. Yeah. How do you handle that first client? How do you be able? How do, how do you deliver the product to them? Mm -hmm. How do you follow up? Because we have stories of. Uh, you know, milestone 
milestone princesses and mm -hmm. princesses, mm -hmm. as we call them, a glorious photography, mm -hmm. that even now we are training in photography, yeah. yet we started taking pictures of them when they were in their mother's uh, belly. You okay. know, like baby bump photos. Yeah. Now those baby bump photos come mm -hmm. to the studio, they want to play with the camera, <laughs> they want to learn. Yeah. And, and actually we are doing something on that in mentorship. Uh -huh. But making money should not be the core The core drive. driver, okay. The, okay. the core drive is to turn it from the passion mm -hmm. into an action. An action, yes. okay. okay. Yes. And to do that now, you have to look at what's your market, but mm -hmm. basically, there are people, if you don't have people's skills, yeah, you don't need you to cannot. go and photograph mm. humans. Mm. You can just take pictures of landscapes, yes. cars, inanimate things, mm -hmm. or just abstract, you know, just take pictures of drops of water or yeah. something like that. Mm -hmm. And that could turn out to be your craft. Yes. But if at, all, if at all you're passionate as we are with people, yeah. uh, we love people, <laughs> and, and the name Glorious is actually borrowed ah. because uh, um, God is glorious yeah so we we borrow the name and every time we start a shoot we always pray okay. with the people mm -hmm. and also ask God to you know yeah. make it glorious so yeah. basically yeah. building a relationship and yes. having a core um, value system that will yes. guide you and then the money follows yes, and yes, not yes, starting yes, yes. off with the the figure that you want and yes. then working from there down yeah. Yeah. now that's pretty interesting now you brought yourself we you brought equipment here could yes. you perhaps just tell us I'm sure this is not everything that yeah. you could have brought because of space and time but yeah. just tell us a bit for the the, the photographers who are at home yes. would like to know what yes. what in the world is going on here. Just yeah, what explain what this does. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, hi guys. Uh, so with me today, I have uh, a strobe. Mm. A strobe? Yeah, this is a strobe, okay. which has a detachable battery. Uh huh. So meaning you can actually use it anywhere. Oh, uh, okay. So what does a strobe do? So what a strobe does? Uh. <clears throat> I'm gonna put the battery up in here. Mm -hmm. uh, uh -huh. So now, once the strobe is in place, yeah. <coughs> you'll be able to take pictures uh, with it. Mm -hmm. Be able to take pictures with it. Yeah. So there's a trigger which okay. looks uh, something like this. A trigger, basically a remote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It uses for, infrared. For layman's yeah. language. So this infrared yeah. is going to, you know, like you, you trigger the yeah, the, you trigger the lights. Uh -huh. with so it. it's basically like a glorified uh, flash, if you. Or what um, is it? How would you Yeah, explain? it's a lighting. Basically, pictures, mm -hmm. like I told you yeah. earlier, photography is an art and a science. And a science, yes. Uh, majorly. Mm -hmm. um, for you to get a good image, mm -hmm. you must work with two things. Okay. Lights yeah. and shadows. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, like, now what makes you... Uh, a, a very beautiful model. Like mm -hmm. for for me, when I'm seeing, I'm seeing everything is looking good. Mm -hmm. So maybe we could we could try. Uh, try and take a picture of me. Yeah, we'll and that, picture. <laughs> if you're seeing the flashes, that is Michael Gitonga yeah. <laughs> taking pictures <laughs> of us right here. And of course, as as it flashes, yeah. then it will cast a shadow on yeah. one side. I imagine. Yes, yes. maybe yeah. we can pose for him. Maybe. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. Okay. So, yes. and then what is this? Is the same. This function? one is an electric, mm -hmm. electric, uh, electric light. Yeah. Uh, that has the same, um, okay. the same kind of a setup. Yes. They have this power which you can regulate mm -hmm. on it yeah. from different uh, stops b of light. Different levels, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then over here we have the. You know, like how you control it. You okay. could have like several of them. Yeah. So you want several of them to mm -hmm. go off at different times, right. and you just control it. From okay. That point. Okay. Yeah. Very mm -hmm. interesting stuff. Yeah. And Mike should join us as we wind up, uh, yeah. Yeah. as he, and as he takes more pictures of us. Well, yeah. Of course, I was uh, the photographer yeah. of the yeah. day. Yeah. Yes, uh, yes, basically yes. contracted. So thank uh, you very much for the yes, job. Yes, yes, Turning yes, yes. passion into profit. So yes, hopefully yes. today I get a pay uh, for all the photos I've been taking. But uh, maybe just in terms of investing for uh, cameras. I know yes. they can be extremely expensive. Right. Yes. Uh, where does one start off? Because nowadays, I mean, given the age we're in, even your phone has a fairly yes. decent mm. uh, yes. you know, camera. Yes, yes. Yeah. Well, it just basically, be, just like any business, the capital is very important. How mm. much capital do you have at your access? Okay. What, do you, what can you access? So um, a DSLR like what I have here yes. is what will enable you to 
um, get into the business. And what actually makes it expensive is this. The, the lens. The glass. Oh, yeah? okay. This one is not a prime lens or anything, mm -hmm. but they are lenses that are more expensive than the camera. All right. So first, before you go for a very expensive camera, it would be good first to understand what you want to be doing. Mm -hmm. You know, for instance, maybe you're just an online trader, you want to take pictures of your yeah, earrings things, and stuff yeah. like that. Mm. So basically, that what you need is just a basic compact camera mm. and good light, maybe a window. Ah. You could use a nice window mm -hmm. and, and get and good, good shots. Go. But uh, from, because um, I know you want to talk figures, mm. Yes. from around 60,000 shillings to half a million shillings, uh -huh. You can so get the price range, depending of course yeah. on what depending you want to do. What yeah. you want, uh, okay, yeah. all right, we're out of time and we really have to wind up. Yeah. Thank you very much, Malcolm, for yes. joining us this yes. morning. Yes. Can and I take, uh, uh, one picture of you? Yeah, sure. Before Why not? Uh, yes. As we wind up, mm -hmm. and uh, yes. I think we're winding up. I'm not sure which camera we are on, yeah. but we certainly <laughs> will be on your uh, camera, Malcolm, yeah. as we pause for our last picture this morning. <laughs> and uh, maybe you could also tell us which way is the best. Yeah, way that's the best way. Uh, all right. Okay. Wow. Right. We'll be showing Maybe. you these pictures later on. But thank you for joining us this morning on Morning Express. We take this opportunity to wish you all a fantastic and a wonderful day. My name is Michael Gitonga. And I'm Trix Ingado.